Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go through an example of profit maximization for a monopoly with two plans. Our starting information is that we have a demand function, q of p equals 100 minus p, and our monopoly has two plants. The first plant has a cost function q1 squared, and the second plant has a cost function q2 squared. We will use capital Q to denote the firm's total output, which is the sum of the individual plant's output. The first thing that we will do is find the inverse demand function. To do this, we are going to solve the demand function for p rather than q. If I add p to both sides and subtract q from both sides, I get p equals 100 minus q. We can easily find the marginal revenue, since this is a linear demand function, by doubling the slope of the inverse demand to get 100 minus 2q. We will now use the fact that capital Q, the total output, is the sum of the individual quantities and rewrite this as 100 minus 2q1 minus 2q2, remembering to distribute the minus sign. Next I need to find the two marginal cost functions by taking the first derivatives of each of our cost functions. For the first one, take the derivative of q1 squared and I get 2q1, and for the second one I'll get 4q2. To solve this we now need to set up our system of equations where marginal revenue must equal marginal cost 1 and marginal revenue must equal marginal cost 2. So what we have is 100 minus 2q1 minus 2q2 equals 2q1 and 100 minus 2q1 minus 2q2 equals 4q2. This is our system of equations. There are a lot of different ways to solve this. I'll show just one. I'm going to take the top equation and solve it for q1. Adding q1 to both sides I get 100 minus 2q2 equals 4q1 and then dividing both sides by 4 25 minus q2 over 2 equals q1. I can take the expression on the left, 25 minus q2 over 2, and substitute that into equation 2 wherever I see a q1. So what I get is 100 minus 2q1, now I'm going to put in 25 minus q2 over 2, minus 2q2 equals 4q2. You can see that now I have an equation with just q2 in it, so we can now solve this. I'll first distribute the 2 to get 100 minus 50 plus q2. Notice that I've distributed minus 2. The 2's have cancelled, and then the minus signs have also cancelled each other out to become a plus. Minus 2q2 equals 4q2. Combining terms, we get 50 minus q2 equals 4q2 add q to both sides, and divide both sides by 5 to get q2 is 10. Now that I know q2 is 10, I can substitute that into this equation right here. q1 equals 25 minus 10, which we now know is q2 divided by 2, so q1 is 20. Before we go on, let's just stop to see if this makes sense. We have two marginal costs, 2q1 and 4q2. Plant 2 is the higher cost firm, so in the end what we get is the quantity we produce in plant 2 will be lower than the amount that we produce in plant 1, so that makes sense. Next we're going to find the price. To do that we'll first note that our total output, capital Q, is 20 plus 10, which is 30. We can plug that right back into our inverse demand function to get the price is 100 minus 30, which is 70. Finally, let's calculate the total profit. Total profit will be total revenue, price times quantity, minus total cost. But here, total cost is going to be C1 of Q1 minus C2 of Q2. Price is 70, total quantity is 30. The cost of producing in plant 1 is Q1 squared, so what we're going to have is 20 squared. And in plant 2, we have 2 times q2 squared. q2 is 10. This comes out to 2100 minus 400 minus 200. 
so our total profit will be 1500 That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.